Lord, help me to understand your word. Oh Lord, give me an understanding of your word. Increase my faith in you, oh God. Increase my faith in you, Jesus. Increase my faith in your Holy Spirit. Increase my faith in you, Abba Father. Give me understanding of your word in the name of Jesus. In times like this in my generation, help me to stand fast with your word. Help me to hold on to your word. Help me to be true to your word in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, that your truth be engraved in my heart, that I will not sin against you. Lord, that your righteousness be manifested in my life, that I will not sin against you, that you would help me in my closet, give me the grace to be an example of the believers. Out there in the streets, Lord, give me the grace to be an example of the believers. Give me a heart that's yours, a heart of compassion, a heart of love, a heart of humility, a heart full of mercy, a heart full of righteousness, a heart full of holiness, a a heart, oh God, that is pure. A heart that's yours, Lord. In the name of Jesus, help me to go back to your word. In the name of Jesus, help me to go back to the secret place. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, that you raise up an army in my generation. An army that will stand for righteousness. An army that will stand for holiness. An army that will be rooted on your word. On your undiluted word, Lord. Upon your truth, Lord. An army that will be fearless in the face of persecution. An army that will stand Stand in your truth, an army that will embrace your word, that will shine forth your light in the name of Jesus. Lord, raise them up, Lord, raise them up. Raise up young boys and girls, Lord. Start with me, Father. Raise us up in times like this to stand as the Deborahs of our times, to stand as the Elijahs of our times in the name of Jesus. Raise us up, Lord, raise us up in every nation, in every tribe. Raise us up, Lord, raise us up in every profession, in every institution. Raise us up, Lord, raise us up. Raise Raise us up, Jesus. Raise us up, Holy Ghost. Raise us up, Abba Father. Raise us up for your glory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God, you know how much I really desire to live in your holiness and righteousness, to do your will in my generation, to be a daughter after your own heart. If only you will show me your purpose and plan for my life, Lord, and solemnly promise me that you will be with me all the days of my life and help me fulfill it. Then, Father, it will be such an honor to fulfill your will upon the face of the earth. God is good, hallelujah. And so the word of God says in Matthew chapter 4 verse 17 that from that time Jesus began to preach and to say repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And in Matthew chapter 10 verse 7 the scripture also says and as ye go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick. Bless the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils, freely he has received, freely 
give. My dear brothers and sisters, the message of our master to us is simple. Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Is any sick among you? Is anyone going through trials and tribulation? Is anyone defeated by the storms of life? I want you all to come out, to come out, come out and experience the supernatural power of God. Hallelujah, praise God. Rise up on your feet and say, Lord, I surrender. Lord, I repent of my iniquities. Lord, I repent of my unrighteousness. Lord, I surrender my heart to you. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Lord, heal me of this disease. Lord, deliver me from this predicament. Lord, save my sons and my daughters. Lord, remember my parents and siblings. Lord, remember my family. Remember my colleagues. Remember my neighbors. Save my nation. Save my generation. Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. Rise up and receive the Lord as a Savior and a Redeemer of your soul. And you shall be saved through all eternity by His grace. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is mighty to save. God is mighty to heal. God is mighty to deliver. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Somebody rise up and praise the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. People of God. Hallelujah. same bad scores test after test I don't see a change my life isn't perfect either those same miss exams those failed tests I'm I'm receiving them too you know but it's through faith it's through prayer continuing this isn't a journey where you say oh just because you get one bad test that means you should give up Christ doesn't want us to give up it's through these trials through it builds endurance you know and if we just keep praying, if we keep serving God, if we stay far away from the people that's gonna lead us astray, eventually we're gonna see success. You know what, I'm just done. I don't wanna hear it anymore. I'm sick of hearing it, it's too much. Spare me all of this, it's too much. If he gives me a sign to come back to him, I'll follow, but this is too much, I can't. We just can't do it. I'm done, just leave me alone. I can't do this anymore, I'm done, I'm done. I can't do it, I can't stay. Oh my darling, how are you doing? <laughs> It's about my roommate, uh -huh. Christiana. Yeah, what about her? Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like she just backsliding and just going back. What? You know, even before before we became roommates, I asked her whether she was a Christian. And yeah. now that I've been seeing her, you know, in classes, it's just like she just haven't been doing what she's supposed to be doing, you know, as a child of God. Yeah. Just the people that she surrounds herself with, I don't like it. Yeah. Is she kind of like discouraged? Has she known Christ before and then she, she wants to leave Christ or she's never known Christ before? No, she's told me that she knows Christ and that's why I decided for her to be my roommate in the first place. But I just feel like... 
she's just going back. Mm. And I don't know what to do. I've been trying to talk to her. Yeah. And it seems like she just wouldn't budge. She don't want to listen to me. Oh. Oh my darling, it is well. I really understand. I think these were some of the challenges I used to see when I was in campus as well. Is it okay with you if I kind of like pay a visit to you too and maybe we just talk over? Yeah, I wouldn't have no problem with that. Just as long as you just try your best to convince her. I don't want her to fall back. I want her to be strong in a relationship with God. It is well. It is well. God will definitely do a new thing in her life, okay? Amen. Don't worry. I'm going to pay you to a visit, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. It is well. It is well, my darling, okay? Everything will be fine from here. <laughs> it is well, my darling, okay? God bless you. <laughs> I didn't like it. The chemistry is hard. But you know, you know, the lecture is trying, you know. To I don't think he is. He can do better. <laughs> you think he can do better? He doesn't give good examples. Well, are you are you even making sure that <laughs> I'm you're I'm trying. Are you doing practice problems? Yeah, try every day. Okay. It's not making sense. Mm -hmm. You know that test is next week. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hello, Vanessa. Oh my God, gosh, it's so <laughs> yes, my what? darling. Oh, what is I'm going good. on? My God's grace, thank oh my you. Gosh, I'm so Can happy I have to a seat? Yeah, of course. How are you, my darling? Fine. How are you? I'm fine. Great. So happy to be with you, girls. How are studies? It's going okay. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So, um, your friend here, Vanessa, has been telling me so much about what is going on. Mm. But I want you girls to know that everything will definitely be fine. Okay. Okay. God is in most definitely, I want you two to know that God has a plan for every one of his children. As you are on campus like that, your life is supposed to glorify God, okay? The greatest gift you have on earth is the gift of salvation. Being on campus is just the grace of God. Living, having your parents with you, having what to eat, what to drink in life, these are just additional in life. The scripture says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, that seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. I want you girls to know that God has a definite plan for every one of you. A glorious future, a beautiful destiny. But most of all, you must not sell your destiny on the platter of gold. And oh, Christina, listen, I want you to know that the struggles, the pandemics, the hard times, the people dying around you, God understands all these happening but they are part of life they are part of his great plan so do not allow the enemy take you away from the presence of the most high god because of these challenges these challenges make life even more beautiful because that's where god steps in that's where the divinity the sovereignty and the power of god steps in to take away our human weaknesses and prove god's power so i want you to stay close to god to hold on to god to have your relationship strengthened with god Okay? This is amazing. You know, you were the woman of God that I saw in my dreams. This is a sign. From now on, I need to become a minister to him and go back to my faith. Oh, perfect. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Was that why you were surprised at the start? Yes. You are the woman I saw in my dreams. So to see you in real life was very surprising. Oh, praise God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I think God really wants to do something with you girls on campus. And that's why you must stay closer to God than ever before. And hold for the banner of righteousness and holiness. You must be the light of God shining through this campus for the glory of God. Okay? 